everyone. Welcome to Maker Monday. We're going to learn quite a few things tonight. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome to another Maker Monday at the Jessamine County Public Library Creative Space. I'm David and this is Ty. Ty. Um, Ty gave me an assignment to uh, import, uh, I, I, he gave me a piece of wood and I'm supposed to put a picture, I'm supposed to raster engrave a picture on it through the laser cutter, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I think I've learned how to do this. I'm going to show Ty and he's going to correct me if I do anything wrong or if there's a better way to do it. So. Learn with me. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Corel Draw because we always start with uh, this program when we're going to use the laser cutter. First thing we need to do is open a f open a new file. Um, we need to make it measure exactly what our space is. So this is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. So I'm going to do that. And so it gave me a square there. Um, I need a picture to engrave. So I've already selected a picture and I'm going to import it. I've found a dog picture that I like that was online. So I'm going to go to in file import. And in my pictures, I've already saved a picture of a dog. So I'll import that in here. And it's ready. It tells me where you want to put it. So I'm going to drop it there. Now the picture is bigger than my piece of wood. So I need to shrink it down. Quite a bit. <laughs> Let's see. Let me move this around here. So there's my there's my picture of a dog. And I chose this picture because it's gonna be high contrast with the white and the black, so I figured that will engrave pretty well. Um, if I need to crop it, I should, but um, so I, we have a crop tool over here. So I'm going to just draw around what, I'm, what I want to print and adjust it. So let's get the top of the dog's head. Let's move this over closer to the ear. Move this over closer to the ear. And then I hit return. And so there's my dog. Um, what I need to do is I need to change this into black and white. Um, I, I've, you can do a lot of effects uh, and stuff, but since this is a black and white uh, essentially black and white to begin with, I found a lot of, adding a lot of effects to it actually didn't make it any better and actually made it worse. So I'm just going to turn this, since it already is pretty much black and white, I mean the dog's eyes are brown, but we just need to change it into kind of black and white. So I'm going to go over here to bit, I'm going to select my photo, I need my do my picker tool, there we go, select my photo, and I'm going to go over here to bitmaps, and uh, I need to look at resample. Um, this is supposed to be 600 DPI because that's what our laser cutter works at. And then I'm going to go back to bitmaps and then I'm going to go to mode, black and white, one bit. And I'm going to put in, I'm going to leave on half tone, screen type line. I'm going to put in 100 lines per, lines per inch. Hit OK. So there's my there's my dog. Now to print, we're going to print it on a piece of wood. So I'm going to go to print. Um, all all the work I'm doing is in the preferences. Am I doing all right? Okay, so far, Ty. You're doing great. All right. <laughs> so I'm it's it's set on 600 DPI, so that's good. Um, I'm not doing vector, but I can leave it on combined because I haven't told it to vector cut, but if I want, I can just hit raster and we don't even have to worry about it. Now I need the measurements to match what I put in there. So we need 3.5 inches for the page, 3.5, because that's how big the block of wood is, 3.5, 3.5. And then I need the settings to engrave onto wood. So we have in one of our packets, um, the laser engraver quick start, uh, the last page has all sorts of settings that we recommend. Um, that doesn't mean they're the final say-so, but we've had good success with these. So on wood, um, to do 600 DPI, we're going to do a uh, speed of 60 and a power of 100. So I'm going to adjust this to 60 and put the power all the way up to 100. 
and then there's that. Hit, o hit OK, hit Apply, and then to send it to the printer, I hit Print. So here's our finished product with uh, our engraved dog on it. Um, so Ty, uh, I've done the assignment. How did I do? What's my grade? You did great. You get an A plus for the day. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Maker Monday videos, check out this playlist. You can also learn more about the JCPL Creative Space at www.jesspublib.org forward slash creative space.